A vigil was held in Marion tonight after a double shooting left one Smith County deputy dead and another injured. It's our top story tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Katherine Simpson. The shooting happened around 5 p.m. Friday during a traffic stop near the intersection of Highway 16 and Hatchery Drive in Marion, Virginia. One officer, Michael Fedorchuk, was injured in the shooting, but was released from the Johnson City Medical Center yesterday afternoon. Officials confirmed that Smith County Sheriff's Office Deputy 27-year-old Hunter Reedy was killed. Reedy was a husband and a father of three. He had served in law enforcement for seven years. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin will order the flags to be flown at half staff on the day of Reedy's memorial. News Channel 11's Maddie Cottesbody reports on the vigil in his honor. A community mourns, gathering to honor one of their own and make sense of tragedy. We kind of think, well, that's in one of those big cities, and here we are in this sweet little community, and this evil stuff does not happen here. Smith County Deputy Hunter Reedy was killed after a shooting on Friday night, one that left Deputy Michael Fedorchuk injured. We're so saddened today, our heart is saddened for the death of one and one injured today. Within hours, the community had banded together, and a small group of local pastors decided they wanted to honor the men and support their families with a prayer vigil at the Smith County Sheriff's Office. A fellow pastor in uh, Christ, a brother in Christ, called uh, around yesterday, and uh, this was orchestrated in a very small amount of time. Friends, family, and strangers met together to honor Deputy Reedy, pray over Deputy Fedorchuk, and provide comfort to one another. Among those gathered, Sue Till Hilson, a former teacher who's still reeling from the news of Reedy, her former student's death. I keep trying to internalize what, what has possessed someone to do this. Seeing the crowd that gathered reminded Tilson about the strong knit community she is a part of. It's part of our community culture that when, when one hurts, you know, you're going to have the support. Today's a day of grief and mourning, making a community strong. I think this is a beautiful picture of how we can come together and support one another in times of tragedy. I really believe I've seen some broken hearts today, and I believe this will only go forward as a stronger community. In Marion, Maddie Cotter's body, News Channel 11.